guys, so today I want to show you my five favorite quick and healthy breakfast ideas. I think having a healthy breakfast is so important to set the tone for the rest of the day because if you're already having a healthy breakfast, you're more likely to eat healthy throughout the day. And we're starting with the first recipe, which I saw on TikTok, tried it once and have been obsessed ever since. The first breakfast is this absolutely amazing looking avocado and chili honey toast. All you need for this is honey, cottage cheese, avocado, some chili flakes, but they're optional, and your bread of choice. I bought this potato bread, I think it was called. It was kind of a struggle to cut this bread, so it was not the best choice. I had to cut three slices because the second slice wasn't very pretty. I toast the bread in the air fryer. You don't have to toast it at all, but I love a toasted bread. It doesn't taste the same as when you do it in the toaster. And if you've never tried toasting your bread in the air fryer, I highly recommend doing it. Game changing. I'm cutting my avocado and I smashed it directly onto the bread, which was a bad idea because the avocado was not very ripe and very hard. Learn from my mistake and do it in a bowl. I usually always do it in a bowl, so I don't know why I was like, I'm gonna smash it onto the bread straight away. You can also season it in a bowl if you want with some salt and pepper and lemon juice honestly every extra step is one step too much for me so i'm a little bit lazy and the same goes for the cottage cheese i just put it onto the bread extra step is to take the honey put in some chili flakes and warm it up in the microwave i honestly am too lazy to do that i just put the honey straight onto my toast put on the chili flakes if you don't like chili leave it out and that is the finished breakfast it is so so good For the second breakfast, we are having overnight chocolate oats. I'm a huge fan of overnight oats because they're so easy and quick to make and they're amazing if you want to eat them on the go, like if you're working, if you're in school. I weigh my oats because I think it's just easier and I weigh out 40 grams of oats into this jar, half a tablespoon of chia seeds, add 15 grams of chocolate protein powder. You can also use cacao powder if you don't have protein powder at home or if you don't like protein powder. Then I use quark, which is like a Greek yogurt and I weigh out 80 grams. Pro tip for measuring peanut butter, put it on the scale and measure it out straight with a spoon. I take 15 grams of peanut butter and one teaspoon of maple syrup, but you can also use any sweetener of choice honey agave syrup and then i add a little bit of water depending on how liquidy you like it and then just mix it up and it looks absolutely amazing like a dessert and then i put on some raspberries you can also put on any fruit that you like but i just had raspberries at home and yeah then i put it in the fridge like this and you can eat it the next day in the morning Next, we have a strawberry protein smoothie. I was never a smoothie gal at all. I was always like, I need to eat something in the morning. But lately, I have been obsessed with smoothies. I feel like they're so much easier to digest in the morning. And I think smoothies are amazing if you're short on time in the morning, if you feel like you don't have enough time to eat your breakfast because you can just drink it next to studying, next to working. All you need for this is a banana, some frozen strawberries, scoop of protein powder i used vanilla and i put in some quark again this time i'm taking 100 grams and also again peanut butter i just love peanut butter it's just so sweet and oh, i love it 15 grams of peanut butter one teaspoon of maple syrup and a little bit of water and then i just blend it in my nutribullet i absolutely love the color of this smoothie it is so pink and girly if you want to have it a little bit thicker you can either freeze the banana before that or you you can add some ice. I personally like to have it a little bit liquidy so that I can drink it and it gets a little bit thicker overnight anyways. Breakfast number four is just a classic for you don't want to prep anything, you don't have a lot of time and that is a peanut butter toast. And I make one side with a banana, so I cut up some slices and then I toast my bread always. I have to toast it. I just use this whole wheat sandwich toast. So this is the bigger toast, not the smaller toast, but you can use any toast bread or bagel or whatever you like. And then I spread on some peanut butter on both sides and one side I add the banana slices 
And on the other side, I add my jelly or jam, whatever you want to call it. And I have this berry mix jam. If you're curious what I'm using, this is my favorite for a PBJ toast or strawberry. Breakfast number five is definitely not something that I make every day. I make this on the weekend when I have a little bit more time. I'm not vegan, by the way, but I cannot eat eggs. So this is my alternative. I start by cutting my onion, spring the pan with some olive oil, adding the onions to it, making sure to roast them a little bit. And in the meantime, I'm cutting some tomatoes. I bought these small cherry tomatoes, cut them in half because they're, they, they were very small, but you can cut them however you like them. I just use a regular tofu and I do not cut it. I just literally tear it apart and put it into the pan, which I love because one last thing to cut and you know how much I hate cutting anything. So here we have the tofu literally scrambled and then I season it with some salt, some pepper, garlic powder, paprika, and then to add the color, turmeric or curry. Mine is called curry powder. And then I know it, it looks a little bit disgusting, but I add a little bit of milk because it just makes it more fluffy. Also pro tip, if you like scrambled eggs, add some milk into your eggs. Trust me, thank me later. And then for the last, I added some chili flakes, which is optional, but I like to have it a little spicy. Then I add cherry tomatoes. I add some baby spinach or a lot of baby spinach because it disappears anyway. I use some very basic bagels. This is the only ones that we have, unfortunately. I wish we had a little bit more fancy bagels where I live, but I'm glad we have any at least. How I like to make my bagel is I cut it in half and then I put it into the toaster. As you can tell by now, I like my things toasted. <laughs> and then I spread some butter onto my bagel. Oh my gosh, this is so good. And here is the finished tofu scramble. It looks so amazing. Sometimes we like to have a bigger breakfast and then I eat this and also make baked beans on the side and it's like an English breakfast and I absolutely love it. This is like a perfect Sunday breakfast for me. So I've been editing my breakfast video and I realized I never filmed an outro. I hope you enjoyed the breakfast. Which one was your favorite? Which one do you want to try? Do I have a personal favorite? Out of the video, I would say it's the cottage cheese toast, but I have a new breakfast obsession, which is my protein coffee banana smoothie. So I would say the smoothie is, pro smoothie is probably my favorite breakfast at the moment. Please subscribe if you want to see more food videos, workout videos and give the video a like if you enjoyed it. And other than that, Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!